Shalom, this is Mitch Glazer, President of Chosen People Ministries, and I have the great joy and privilege of teaching you how to do your own Passover Seder. This means a lot to me as a Messianic Jew myself. I grew up in a very Jewish home in New York City, celebrated Passover in my entire life, but I'll tell you, after I became a follower of Yeshua, Jesus the Messiah, Passover became even more meaningful to me because then I understood what Passover predicted, what Jesus fulfilled. He's the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And the cups that we take and the matzah, the bread that we break, that we use in our communion celebrations today, all go all the way back to the Passover and mean so much. And so I know that uh, this is going to be wonderful for you. I hope that you've read uh, one of our new books on Passover, Messiah and the Passover, or the Gospel in the Passover. And this will give you an opportunity to use the uh, service that we provide for you to teach the Passover, to celebrate it in your home, and to also try some of those fantastic uh, recipes. Uh, this is the Haggadah. And a Haggadah is the guidebook for the Passover. And you have a Haggadah uh, in the book, but also on the website so that you can download uh, the Haggadah, print some out, and uh, use them around the table. Everybody can share, uh, have their own Haggadah, or you can share Haggadahs, however you want to do it. But first, let me give you a tour. Uh, remember, the Seder is, or Seder is the Hebrew word that means order, or the order of service, the liturgy. And the Passover Seder is made up of two elements, a religious service and a great meal. And so I have before you the elements or the symbols that we use during the, the religious or the spiritual part of the service. And uh, then we clear it all away so that we can eat the meal. And so uh, this is a matzotash, as you can see. This is the Seder plate. These are the cups to remind us of the four cups that we use during Passover. These are, of course, the candlesticks, which have great symbolism as well. Then on the Seder plate, we put all of these items that I've set to my right. And each one of these are symbols that the Haggadah, which literally means the telling, these are symbols that the Haggadah will describe for you and help you understand and, and weave uh, them into the story. And so the, the Haggadah is really going to be your guide. And by the end of, uh, of reading through the Haggadah, you'll really uh, uh, get the impact of the Passover. This, of course, is the shank bone of a lamb. We'll look at that in a moment. And then we have uh, matzah, grape juice, or old grape juice, we say, that you can use, and some of the other elements of the Passover Seder. We're going to explain uh, each of them. 